Hi guys, this is Reggie Perry with Project Generation D. I'm here with another video. I'm sorry it's been so long since the last video. I've been busy teaching the kids um, in our program, but I'm back with a video with a very usable, a very useful tool, um, an overview of key mapping and MIDI mapping. So basically, just to give you an overview, the key mapping, what you can do is you can assign keys on your computer's keyboard to basically control what's on the screen. So I can, for instance, activate this track by turning it on and off. So instead of using my mouse, I can do that with a key. Same with selecting a track, things like that. And with the MIDI mapping, what you can do is you can use a MIDI controller that has knobs and faders and things like that to assign it to control something anywhere in Ableton that's mappable. So first what I'm going to do, let's, let's do a, um, let's go over to MIDI, I mean the key map, excuse me. So I'm going to create a few tracks here. Um, a few audio tracks and a few MIDI tracks. There's nothing in here, but basically it's just to show you what you can do with um, key mapping. So you just come up here to the top right, I'm going to click key mapping. You see anything that's mappable on the keyboard with your keys is going to be orange. So what you could do, for instance, if you're doing live sets, if you're creating music on the fly, or you have certain tracks that have certain elements in it and you want to select that track and trigger something in it, like using your mouse or using like a key on the keyboard, you could do that with key mapping. So for instance, say that I had, uh, I wanted to map these right here. So I might do these across my key keypad, or across my numeric keyboard across the top of my keyboard. And I'm just going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when I look at uh, my keyboard and I'm like, okay, I want to select track one, I'll just press track one. If I want to select track seven, I'll press track seven. And say that down here for the uh, track activation, I use my other keypad and I map these the same way. And then I go back up here. So what you notice is that right now track seven is selected. If I didn't never want to touch my mouse while I'm doing a live set I can just click press 1 I can press 5 or I can press 3 and all of those are gonna is gonna go to each one that I select now say I have something in there I wanted to mute something add some kinda cool drops or something like that say I wanted to drop something out of track 1 my other keyboard my other keypad excuse me I have it right there I just press 1 it activates it the same for 1 through 7 so no matter how many tracks I have, I can go up to like nine, and then I can use other keys, periods, numbers, letters, things like that to um, select these tracks. Now, your MIDI mapping, it works the same way, but you're assigning things to your MIDI keyboard. So if I press that, you see the overview is now, the overlay is now purple. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to drop um, an audio effect in here. I'll just say a flanger, and I'll drag it into my master track. So what I can do is I can go to this MIDI map and anything that's purple is mappable. So I can go up here and this is my, um, this will turn it on and off. So say I wanted to select um, a knob on my APC, I just turn it like that and you see it has across the top what it's controlling and I turn it off. So if I'm playing music, I can turn this knob. So if I wanted an overview, if I wanted like my flanger to kick to kick in for my master track I just simply turn that knob there it is boom turn it off and then of course the rest of the knobs are auto assigned so if I didn't want to use say a release I can assign this track to something else to another parameter within my flanger and I can just turn it on and off like this so basically just to recap this is very useful so you don't have to always go back to your mouse and use your mouse to select things you can just press a key like you know if you map it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, for example, you just know that instead of having to go and click on it, you just boom, seven, or boom, three, and you're there. If you want to turn something off, turn five off, turn five back on. If you want to assign effects, and this, you know, if you use like an APC20, APC40, or pretty much any mappable MIDI device, you have knobs and faders, and you can control like all of this stuff, and you can auto assign and map things to that. So it comes in, it comes in, um, and handy when you're doing a lot of live work and you're on the fly and you're like say you're doing like a hip-hop show or like a drum and bass show or anything like that and you're playing your beats and you just want to really quickly get in there and not have to use your mouse you can just use these keys and stuff so that's the overview of MIDI mapping and key mapping my name is Reggie Perry with Project Generation D 
You guys, be sure to check out ProjectGenerationD.com for more videos, more updates, not only just on music production, but graphic design and video production as well. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.